Hello everyone, uh, my name is Laura Gutierrez and I'm from Colombia and I'm going to tell you about my experience with DILMI as a spiritual coach. Well, first I'm going to talk to you about me a little bit. Well, uh, I told you my name is Laura but my spiritual name is Creative Light. So, um, since I'm a creative uh, being, my passion is all about art, so I love writing, especially poetry and stories, and also I like music, and um, after many years, I'm um, taking again my music courses so uh, to connect more deep with my spiritual uh, self, and I... Currently, I'm working as an, a researcher in a innovation area here in Colombia in a firm called Grupo Sura, uh, which is a financial holding, and we have many investments around the, you know, in Latin America. And well, that's a little bit about me. I love dancing. I love singing. And I love learning every day. I cannot be a minute without, you know, no knowing something. So uh, that's me. Um, I have done some things before I, you know, I meet, met Dilmi. I did uh, for my spiritual path uh, uh, the 21 Days uh, for Abundance. Uh, with Deepak Chopra, I also joined Mind Valley, and there I learned the the six phase meditation with Vishen Lakiani, and also I tried the technique by Emily Fletcher. They call the M Worth. It's very similar to the six phase meditation, um, and also I tried hypnotherapy and hypnosis with Marisa Peer and. Paul McKenna. Also, I started to, you know, to do some yoga. Um, but uh, since I know this, you know, these whole techniques and all the, you know, the methods, um, I I was going like, you know, to to trying to do many things, but I didn't connect all. So. Uh, when Dilmi came to my life like an angel, <laughs> it was very special to me because she really helped me, you know, like linking, you know, everything I already knew it and also discovering things I have in my life and, you know, all the universe. So with her, I could have a clear mind for making my spiritual uh, path more clear, obviously, like I told you, and also, you know, to to know where I was, because I was walking in my journey, my spiritual journey, but I didn't know where I was walking and, and the, you know, and to think, and to think about some, you know, the destination so um uh, i'm i'm a very you know um uh, uh, like <laughs> fully optimized person i like to be in control of everything in my day so when something is not going like i i want uh, it's for me it's a mess so uh, uh the last year when when was I met uh, Dilmi? I was through a very difficult situation in my life, my emotional life, and I was passing through a breakup, and it was very difficult to me because also I was passing through another situation, and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of everything, and. I'm a really attached person to my routines and I was not feeling like me. So because I 
wasn't doing anything 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 about the things i love to do because i have no you know no emotions for doing that so when i met dilmi and i was so confused so so confused she really helped me to get that clear i needed to take the right decisions because life is about to take you know courageous decisions sometimes you have to break your toxic patterns like this and it's difficult and it hurts but you know pain and suffering is in your mind so you can avoid or accept or accept them and go through life go ahead keep going on you know you you can do it because we are humans and we feel we we feel many emotions pain and it's normal but we have to accept them to keep going on the road because you know universe is expanding every day and we cannot get you know behind um uh like she really helped me with my stagnation my spiritual life i was having and i'm so grateful for that you know because i had four sessions with delmi and i i got many insights many aha moments that help me connect you know the things i already knew it and the things i wasn't aware of you know like living the present people like me who like to have control of everything or no no more anymore no me but i was like that um suffer a lot because you know the world is not forever and things are not going like you want so you have to be non attached to the expectation because the expectations uh, makes make you suffer so you can have your goals you can have your plan but you cannot be attached to to the to the you know the result you want so that was my biggest aha moment in that um uh, living in the now i already uh, with her uh, learn discover an exercise of mindfulness mindfulness that helped me to be in the present also she gave me many exercise for forgiveness gratitude that helped me go go ahead and keep going on in my spiritual path it's really different to try and think alone because sometimes we are looking for many ways and we are not focused in one thing to really develop our spiritual self um, and it re i really felt the difference <clears throat> so um, i really really recommend deal me you know to this spiritual coaching because she's like like the light she's going to help you clearing some of your you know your your darkness but also your light so you can connect all that you already know and all that already is within you because you know all is happening right now all happened yet um so you you can be you know have that guy guiding in your life is a very 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 helpful uh, uh, you know I, i don't want to call it tool but help it's a really big help so thanks thanks deal me for this opportunity with you i'm so grateful and i recommend this to you all so bye and see you for i